What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Ages, where passion turns into art. I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to be building a custom shipping crate. It's for my last episode of building a custom Florida flag. If you haven't seen that episode, you're going to want to go watch that before watching this one. Let's get to it. All right, so I got all my wood. We got the trusty table saw. So let's go ahead and start getting this crate put together. And yes, I know it's a mess. It's not my yard. Okay, so these are the top and bottom. I cut them out of half inch plywood just because they're more durable for how big the surface area is. Now I need to build the four walls and those are going to be out of this quarter inch plywood. There's a lot less surface area, this won't bend as much, but it still doesn't have to be quite as thick as the top. So let's get those cut out. Alright, so we got everything finished to put the box together. We got the top and the bottom, the side walls, and the front and back wall. It's just time to put the box together and then build some trim to go around the rest of it. Okay, so now that the box is completely finished, it's time to build the frame that goes around it, which we are going to be using these one and a half by one and a half planks. We're just going to be making a simple frame that goes along the outside of the box and outlines it along the lid and the box itself. So we gotta do some for the lid and on the box. And it's time to bring out the chop saw. All right, so now that I got all these pieces cut, I need to take the saw and rip a couple grooves down the side. I want there to be a groove like that in the side of it, so this will fit snug to the corner of the crate. So we gotta get all these cut now. All right, so there it is. And the rest I can do at the workshop, so let's go. All right, so I'm back at the workshop, but it's a little messy, so before I do anything, I wanna clean up the mess from making the Florida flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, we're back at the workshop. And now that it's clean, I can actually work on the crate. But I noticed a dilemma on what I had to do. 
The crate I did this time is a little bit different than the one I did in my last video. I made these edges a little bit differently. There's this lip right here, which is normal, but there's also a very large lip on the underside of the top right here. And that's going to hinder how it opens with a hinge. So I'm gonna have to take my saw and I'm gonna have to cut this right here at an angle so that way it opens smoothly and this won't hit the wall. So I gotta get that done before I do anything else on the crate itself. Okay, so I went ahead and got it cut, and as you can see, it's not going to hit that lip anymore when it opens. It sits right next to it, so when it opens, this will open smoothly instead of hitting right there. So let's go ahead and start getting the leather put on the inside, and then I can start putting the hinges and locks on this thing. So in the last episode that I did a crate, you guys saw that I did regular fake leather. But since this one's a Florida flag, I decided to get in the mood and get some imitation alligator leather. Just because Florida's full of alligators and I thought that would match. Alright, so let's go ahead and use these furniture tacks I got and get this hooked to the lid. All right, so the lid is done, and now it's just time to line the crate. So let's get to that. All right, the crate is finally done. We got that lined with leather. Looks very nice. And then we got the lid. Now it's just time to hook these hinges onto the crate itself. And then we got some rope handles to put in the sides for carrying it and a rope to hold the lid so it doesn't just fall on itself. So let's go ahead and get those put on.
All right, guys, it's finally finished. The crate has all the leather inside, the flag is inside, and it's ready to ship. All I gotta do is close it up, put a couple security screws on, and it's ready to head your way to the Tavern Kings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.